established ladies that will go for a man without money. Why would I want to go? For, it's, not, it's not even about. It's not a case of money. Um, if I'm established, money is money flows to where there is value. So an established lady will go for a person of value. And if you have value, you might be broke. You can never actually be broke. You might not have cash for a short period of time, very short period of time. Because you have value, you would always find a way. So if somebody is saying a man does not have money, does the man not have value? Does the man not have resources? Mm. Does the man not have capacity to um, fend for himself? Like, OK, I don't, I've lost my job. OK, what else can I do? People go on social media nowadays, and they are creating money online just because they have value. So a woman that, are, that is made will not go for a man that does not have value. Less and that is the, that's the basis. It's not about cash. Less because you can have a job. And you are working in, a, in Nigeria, oil company. companies. Oil company is a way to say you are working in money. It. You work in oil company, you lose your job, you are nobody after you that. Don't have if you don't so have value. So this present um, hearty paper is shouting dollar, dollar, has affected someone I know who's in the business of import. And he's doing, he's been, you know, virtually trying to flag off his business. A young lady saw him. He's still there. He has not blow. Mm -hmm. And she loves him. And they are starting. The fact is that he has something he's working on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Broke ass. Perfect. Oh, God, forgive me. Broke, <laughs> dead, beat somebody, somebody. <laughs> Cannot... Cannot be approaching a lady who is doing well and, uh, and be judging and her yeah, for saying no. no. Because the way they always say it is that if she was a broke woman, a man will come because he is a provider. But the woman will be saying, this one, that will not be compelling me because we know how the dynamics of marriages work. She'll have to bring those things open. He will people will judge her for uh, not supporting I him. Remember, I remember, I told you the story of Pastor Luke now that wanted oh, oh. to marry me. Like that was, he, he came with, with his suit. I would never forget that guy. <laughs> he, was, he was chasing me all over the place. Oh. Eventually, I just, just, just come to the house. I allowed him to come to the house. My mother now sat, he now sat down. My mother now asked him a few questions. By the so tell me, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about yourself. I'm a pastor, you know. So how do you, what, what do you do? I'm not working right now, but I'm trusting God that by the grace, by of, the God, grace of God. By the grace of God, I know. <laughs> then, okay, so what job do you hope to do? I'm trusting that God, by the grace, by the grace of, of God. God. <laughs> <laughs> every every question. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. God. Ah, my mom said, hmm. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Go ahead, Auntie. She's not your husband. <laughs> <laughs>